Hey guys, what's going on? In this, we're going to go over where to level every character in Marvel Strike Force if you are free to play. Um, before we get into this, I just want to say that if you are developing a character past what I recommend, that's fine. Um, if you are developing a character that I tell you not to recommend, or that I don't recommend, uh, that's fine as well. Just, you know, this is your game. It's supposed to be fun, um, especially as free to play. You should get enjoyment from it. It is a hero collector game, but hopefully with the stuff I give you, I will help you focus on your priorities in this game. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty in-depth guide. So how I order my own roster and, and how I want to develop it and stuff. I start with Dark Dimensions, Arena Offense, U7 slash Doom Raid, uh, Challenges, Campaign, war teams and then finally blitz teams um so yeah let's get right into it so i'm gonna be talking specifically about dd4 but you can use some of these some of this advice for dd3 if you're not in dd3 yet um but let's get right into it so at the top we, here we have our dd4 global dd4 cosmic dd4 city and dd4 legendary uh to get into dd4 just to start it you need five characters of any of these restrictions there are four restrictions in dark dimensions one is global one is cosmic one is city one is legendary i.e why i'm you know have it spread out this way so you need five to get in and then once you finish the first three nodes and move on to global you will need four global characters i'm only listing three in each spot because the fourth one matters but i don't think it matters as much as the three that i'm suggesting for each uh, each one um, and what your fourth slot and fifth slot should be it should be a character that you're going to use in arena or in uh, doom raids um, so that's why i'm not going to really stress it out uh, luckily uh, there are three really great skill characters that can fill in for global cosmic and city the first one is baron zemo red guardian or taskmaster uh, for cosmic you can use proxima midnight and then for city you can use night nurse uh, all of those characters are used in the skill part of doom raids so um, I could fill it in there, but again, if you want to do someone else in that slot, that's fine as well. So let's talk about why these three characters are the best. We'll start with Global. What I like about this team, and especially Dark Dimensions, is you want to put slows on everybody um, as quickly as possible and extend those slows. And Ghost and Emma Frost combo can do that very, very well. Emma will use her special and apply slow to everyone. And then with Ghost, you want to extend those slows with her ultimate. Uh, Mr. Sinister is Mr. Sinister is there for heals and for cloning. If you can clone a Captain America and get more energy to Emma Frost and Ghost and Mr. Sinister as well, that's great. Uh, you should have a pretty easy time with the global nodes um, if you go this route. Um, I believe I beat global in about four days. Uh, my fourth character was Baron Zemo, um, and again, I really didn't struggle too much with it. Next on Cosmic, I believe that this is probably the hardest part of uh, DD4 only because there isn't a character and cosmic that will apply slow to everybody um if there wasn't that legendary restrict restrict restrictment i think ebony mob would slot in greatly in there but uh because he has that legendary tag he can only be used in legendary section so um and so minerva and thanos have a really great combo where when you get a kill thanos should hopefully feed energy to minerva and then silver surfer is there for pure damage and he's a mystic character um another mystic character you could bring in is hella whenever greg dies she takes away turn meter from the opposing team which is good um but i think hella is kind of on the downslope in this game um she's still going to be used in mystic uh doom raid though so if you do want to bring her in i don't think it's a waste or anything and plus there's not a lot of mystic characters in these first uh four that i'm suggesting so it's really your choice but i just would say for the future of the game go with silver surfer over hella it's going to slow you up but you still have to develop for city and for legendary anyways next up we have our symbiotes we have symbiote spider-man anti-venom and then you can either go scream or carnage uh, Carnage will actually feed turn meter to the team, but Scream will put speed ups on the symbiote team, uh, and there's minor healing, but the symbiotes, if they're doing well, they really don't need that healing that much. Um, but yeah, symbiote Spider-Man with his ultimate will apply slow to everyone, anti-venom will, will uh, allow the team not to receive debuffs with his special, and then like I said, Scream is there for extra speed up or Carnage you can use for turn meter. Uh, finally, we have DD4 Legendary, we have Phoenix and Ebony Maw, they will steal 15% health. Uh, Ebony Maw does it with his ultimate Phoenix. Dark Phoenix does it with her special. If you put a T4 into Phoenix's special, you can get t up to 20%. Stealing a flat health percentage is great as well. Minerva does this, and so does Ghost. And then Doc Ock will uh, heal up the team. Uh, he will cause the enemy not to be able to land too many debuffs on, on your characters. And then uh, he can also call in a minion as well. Um, I will say your fourth legendary character 
should be a Jubilee or should be a Black Bolt or an Invisible Woman. I think Jubilee and Invisible Woman are great and the Black Bolt is kind of on the lower tier of that, but uh, you know, it's your choice as well. Uh, Jubilee runs uh, U7 right now and she runs the uh, mutant part of Doom Raid, so yeah. All right, next up we'll go over the Arena Offense. There's plenty of, that you can do with Arena Offense. Um, essentially right now what it looks like is that there's four characters really running it and then the fifth is your choice and then I will show you show another team that can that does kind of well and explain why it does well um, but really I think you need Doc Ock, Emma Frost, Silver Surfer and Doom. I like Falcon Falcon because I like to see his special. Um, it gets a lot of turn meter for your team and can get Dr. Doom off quicker um, but I do want to go over to Marvel Strike Force right now. This guy was ranked 8th today and this is pretty much a uh, slow down the enemy team and get as much turn meter as possible type team um, so Emma will apply slow to everyone whenever Greg dies uh, they will lose turn meter uh, x23 is getting speed up whenever an enemy drops below 25% health and Zemo is really really quick and can apply ability block and so can x23 essentially this is two really quick ability blocks that helps your offensive team against the defense but uh, defense really doesn't matter too much um, I really do think that this is probably one of the strongest teams just because of how quick quick it gets your characters to go. But again, you can do whatever you want. You could throw Invisible Woman in there, you could throw Phoenix in there, you could throw uh, Black Bolt in there for Silver Surfer if you don't have them de uh, developed. But uh, yeah, so let's go. Uh, we'll go into Doom Raid Mutants next. Uh, I'm going to definitely, definitely recommend Astonishing X-Men, but along with that, I believe on the boss node, this team right over here does very, very well because there is a long shot in that node. I like to clone long shot in that node, and then it, it makes the node a lot easier. This is also your best U7 team. Um, if you don't have access to Jubilee, then definitely go Symbiotes, but uh, this team, I basically auto U7 up until the final node. Uh, but yeah, this team should work out really well for you in Doom Raids, and then this should definitely work really well for that boss node. Deuce, Doom, <laughs> Deuce frame. Doom Raid Bio, I definitely recommend Symbiotes. Oh, and you should take these up to gear 14. Um, obviously, with DD4, you need to take them up to gear 15 to even get them in there. And then Arena Offense, you definitely want it to be as strong as possible. ISO for these, I would suggest 3 or 4. Um, 4 can be a bit tax, tax, taxing um, of your uh, ISO credits or whatever but i think arena if you get them to iso 5 you'll be fine doom raid you probably want to do like iso 4 um and then i would say gear 14 but some characters you'll probably need to take up to gear 15 uh like kitty pride and iceman you can probably leave at gear 14 and the other three take up to gear 15 um it's doable at gear 14 but it's going to be a little bit of a harder time and also if you have a very hot, leveled up bishop um, it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to say a flat gear 14 and then maybe invest after the fact if you realize you're having trouble. Um, but, um, you know, if you take them up to year 15, I don't think it's anything lost. But we'll go, go on to symbiotes. Um, you know, a lot of people know how great symbiotes are. Um, you have to babysit them a little bit more than you do Astonishing X-Men, but they should help you with the bio part. Uh, you may struggle and you might need some alliance help with it, but uh, they should do very, very well for you. Doom Raid skill, gear 14, maybe gear 15 for them. Uh, this is just the best skill team. Basically, uh, Red Guardian is going to take a lot of the brunt for them. And then uh, Night Nurse is going to be healing them, them up very well. Uh, you like ta I like Taskmaster for the blinds. Uh, Proxima for offense downs. And then Zemo is great against minions. And he's very, very quick. Doom Raid Mystic. Uh, we have Silver Surfer, Doctor Doom, Ebony Maw, Hela, and Thanos. Again, gear 14. And, and the placement in this is not optimal placement. Uh, msf.gg is very finicky on how you place your characters, so um, I didn't really focus too much on it, but uh, I would say you definitely want uh, Ebony Maw next to Thanos, just because you do want him to get his ultimate off as soon as possible, playing slows to everyone. Um, but yeah, this is just your best Mystic team, I don't think anyone's surprised by this. Uh, Doom Raid Tech, this is your other best team, um, and also you're using Ghost in uh, DD4 Global, you're using Doc Ock in Legendary. Um, Shuri. I like her for her defense up and her heels, and she's really quick. Doom, he's Mystic and Tech, so you definitely want to be using him. And then Minerva can uh, revive if need be. I definitely rank Arena Defense lower than Doom Raid just because it really doesn't matter what you put on defense. You can maybe put something on and maybe get a win every once in a while, but stuff doesn't hold as well. Um, 
so I definitely think this is your best option. You have Red Guardian uh, taunting, and then hopefully sure you can get energy to Doom so he can get off his uh, ultimate ability and take out the opposing team. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is your best option. Again, if you don't have a Silver Surfer developed, then you can go Black Bolt. Um, but if you also want to run Black Order in Arena, that's fine as well. They are on their way out the door, but uh, they are still viable. Um, I think that the guy, the person who ranked first today w used Black Order. So um, it's not, you know, if you develop them, it's not a loss too much either because they are the first or second best war team. Um, now, with all these characters up here, you should be able to get through challenges. So the only challenge I'm going to be talking about is Catalyst of Change. Um, for example, the Gold Rush challenge can be beat with city characters, so I'm definitely going to suggest Symbiotes. Um, there's a Global challenge, which I would definitely recommend uh, either you know Axemen or Uncanny Axemen with uh, Beasts, so, or, or Uncanny X-Men with Beasts, so you can get the three stars. And then the Cosmic Node. You definitely want to run like Silver Surfer, Ebony Maw, Minerva, Hela, and Thanos, and you should be able to get through it. The only one that I think you'll have the most challenge with is the Blaster Challenge, and uh, I would definitely recommend Gear 13. If you are using Falcon in Arena, the only character that you will need to kind of take up is uh, Ultron. Uh, he will be getting Red Star soon, so I bet you he might be viable on that tech raid team for Doom Raid. But yeah, I think uh, this is the only one that I really need to call out and be like, this is probably your best bet. Of you, you're you're already going to develop these characters, so you might as well use them um, for that actual challenge. But the other challenges, they are tricky. You just got to kind of keep doing it and keep developing characters as you go along. So let's go on to campaign notes. So I'm going to be skipping some campaign notes, just a little bit, just because I think some of them are easier to assemble than others. Um, for example, we have Hero 7-1 through 7-3. I think this is your best city team um, that is farmable at the moment. Uh, if you do, let's say, for example, if you do have um, if you do have uh, Shadowlands or something, that might be good as well. But these characters you will have access to before you get to Hero 7-1, so I think this is your best bet. Um, all, these all the characters that I recommend for these campaign nodes will be used on a war team. Um, there is two exceptions, and that is Loki and Punisher. I'm going to tell you guys not to level up as Guardians. Um, but if you already have them leveled up and they're on your defense, that's fine as well. Don't stress that at all. Um, but I do think Asgardians are very, very beatable on defense, especially with Symbiotes and Axemen. Um, so that's why I'm going to recommend in this list later on not to develop them. But if you do, it's it's okay. It's, it's not really super wasted resources, but um, I'll make an argument for that later why. Um, so like I said, Hero 7-1, uh, Night Nurse is going to be healing up the team. She-Hulk is going to be taking a lot of the damage. You have two brawler, Brawlers with Ghost Rider and, uh, and Daredevil, and Miss Marvel is going to call assist from them. And Miss Marvel is pretty much a tank too. I, I think this team is probably your best bet as characters that are accessible before Hero, Hero 7. So that is definitely the way to go. Villain 7, 1 through 7, 3. I believe it's AIM, Hydra, or uh, Sinister 6. Um, this is going to be your Red Skull, or your Zemo Red Skull hybrid team. Um, and then uh, for War. Um, and then you will have Red Guardian where Mysterio is, but you can't use Red Guardian. I like Mysterio there just because if, the, uh, if he dies, he can revive himself with his... Uh, whatever he summons after he dies so um if you need that three stars you know and he goes down you have that extra chance with him red skull will call in hydra grenadier if hydra grenadier dies and then red skull also calls in minions uh zemo you're going to develop for that uh doom raid skill anyway so uh i think this is definitely the way to go the only one that's kind of worrisome is winter soldier but he should be all right um and i definitely recommend gear 11 for these campaign you can probably do it with gear 10 um and better characters all right the only the only character on this list uh, for your campaign part that is going to be not accessible as Hela, but when it comes to mystic villains I really don't feel comfortable telling you to develop like Nobu or Hand Sorceress or Ronin or anyone of those natures up to gear 11 um, And like I said Loki I'm not going to recommend for war defense But he can also be viable on offense with his quick defense down to the opposing team um, but yeah, this is your mystic villain team. You're gonna have Mordo leveled up for your supernatural team You're gonna have Electra leveled up for your Shadowland team Loki you can use on offense just for a quick little hit and then juggernaut I like on you know for brotherhood offense. They're they're a really good offensive team and your fifth uh, If you have access to Hela that definitely use her if not then you probably want to go hand sorceress or something Don't take them up to year 11. Just hope you can scrape by uh, with a lower level hand sorceress uh, Nexus 8-4. I believe it's Asgardians or Kree. Um, I just think this is your best team right here. 
Thor you're, you're going to use on wave one. Hela you will have access to, so hopefully you'll be building her up, especially since he's since he, since she's used in Mystic uh, of Doom Raid. And then Loki you'll probably already have built up too for this villain seven four through seven six. Um, and then Captain Marvel and Minerva are just kind of there for safety. Captain Marvel does big damage, and Minerva will do revives. Doom War, Doom one four through one six. I believe it's Guardians and Supernatural. Um, I'm just kind of like looking at them uh, for the best of my memory. Um, but I think this is definitely your route to go. Um, if Groot dies, hopefully he revives himself. And if not, then you can use Doctor Strange to bring him in. Um, but uh, Star Lord, uh, Rocket, and Groot are going to be used on your Tech Nerva team. And, you know, Ghost Rider and Doctor Strange are on Supernatural. Doom 2 1 to 2 3 is Mercenary and Wakandan. So basically, you're going to be running Mer Merc what essentially is the Merc defensive team in war uh, without Taskmaster because you won't have access to him. But with Deadpool anyways, you're gonna need, you need Deadpool to unlock Dr. Doom or Doc Ock. So uh, I definitely think this is, this is your best bet. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and get through this real quickly, but uh, uh, Merc Lieutenant and Shuri should be healing up this team and Merc Rygar should take a lot of the damage. Doom 2-7 uh, to 2-9. I definitely am going to recommend the same Hydra team, but with Corvus. You want to dev develop your Black Order anyways. Like I said, they're either, either the first or second best war offensive team, so uh, developing Corvus is not a waste. And uh, this this Zemo Hydra team is really good against uh, Mercenaries. Um, but yeah, I definitely just think that this is the best way to go. Doom 3, 4 through 3, 6, I believe it's Avengers Shield or, or uh, Avengers Shield or Fantastic Four. You definitely just want to go Wave 1. They are probably the best, you know, most accessible team, um, best free-to-play team, so definitely the route to go. Doom 3, 7 through 3, 9. Um, it is, I believe it's uh, Hero Mystic and Hero Tech. So you want to do Supernatural, and then you want to do Shuri and Falcon. Uh, Falcon, you, you want to get a special off. Shuri's there for defense ups and heals. Doctor Strange is there for the revive and Ghost Rider and Scarlet Witch. Um, Scarlet Witch is there to extend debuffs uh, that Ghost Rider gives to them. Now we are going into our war teams. Um, I, with your war teams, I definitely recommend that you bring them up to gear 10, gear 11, um, somewhere between the level 65 and level 70 range, just so you can get the mandatory T4s on those teams if you plan on using them. Um, these are hybrid teams. Um, so essentially if you don't have these teams built up and um for example i don't do a colson shield team i do a colson and human team if you have a colson shield team that's perfectly fine uh keep them on there but if you're starting from scratch if you're 100 days in and don't have any of these characters really developed and you're wanting to know where to go uh this will hopefully help you start building your your way towards that because the future is hybrid teams unless they extend how many defensive teams there are and how many attacks you get per per war um, but essentially um, i'm going to give you 10 offenses and eight defenses that's pretty much all you need all you need all you will need for war but uh, let's get right into it our first team is shadowlands uh just pure raw damage pure quick damage um you will need all the t4s in them but uh that's kind of the case for a lot of these teams um, and I'm going to go through these a lot quicker. Then we have Black Order, uh, second best or first best team. It really depends on, you know, what you're talking about. But most of these teams, I think, can battle for the top slot. Again, T4s on this team, it's just the mandatory ones. Um, a lot of people have them overdeveloped just because they were used in Arena. But, yeah, most people know the power of Black Order. Then next up, we have X-Factor. And hopefully you can tell offense versus defense. Um in what I signify, but I'm, I'm just going to use X Factor with Namor. Namor is a very strong war offensive character, and then X Factor is just going to be a beast of a team uh, once I get them developed. X Men is probably your fourth best best force, fourth best bet. Um, if you see an Asgardian team, they work very very well against them. Um, they also work very well in some punch ups as well. Um, they're just a powerhouse of a team. Marauders, I believe, is your best defensive team. Um, I actually use Minerva on that team, but if you want to use Ghost. For this slot for Sabretooth, that's fine. If you want to use Sabretooth, that's fine. If you want to use Blob, that's fine as well. Um, I don't think you need to stress it too much, um, but uh, if you it just Marauders is still one of your best defensive teams. Um, they're countered by a lot of things, so I don't think you need to really stress it. Uh, if your defense gets any type of win, I think that's great, so um, don't stress it. Um, I will say a lot of beginning arena teams, Marauders is probably one of the most accessible arena team um, that's not very hybrid-like and does very, very well. I know a lot of people um, a lot of people who run second accounts definitely recommend Marauders or Symbiotes. 
um, but Marauders is more farmable than Symbiote, so keep that in mind too. You may want to develop them for Arena if you're very, 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 very early. Next up is Sinister Six Defense with Doc Ock. Don't try and run it with Vulture. Um, you, you're better off doing something else, but uh, and, and subbing out Doc Doc Ock. Keep Doc. Ock. You need Doc Ock in there. Um, I think this team is very great. You want you want Rhino on this team because Brotherhood. Without if you are facing a Sinister Six team without Rhino, you can blow over them with Brotherhood. Um, Rhino gets rid of those blinds. Next up, we have this Zemo Hybrid Zemo Hydra Hybrid team with Red Skull. Um, I think just th how well this team does against uh, Mercs on defense is very, very good. Uh, ideally, you want your Hydra Grenadier to have higher damage than Zemo, but Red Guardian will also take a lot of the brunt of the damage. Um, so when you face uh, a Merc team, uh, Taskmaster is going to apply a taunt to the highest damage dealing enemy, uh, which you want to be Hydra Grenadier. So if he goes down, Red Skull re will revive him. Fan Fantastic Four defense with She-Hulk. It's just kind of a good defensive team. Um, it's pretty standard. They have defensive stuff in war built in. They're not the best defensive team. They're not the worst. Uh, and you need defense. <laughs> so uh, someone you know has to strategize about what they want to go against them. X-Force. Uh, X-Force is great against Marauders at about a 50k punch up. And great against uh, Sinister Six as well. Mercs on defense with Shuri. Just a lot of people run this team. Again, like I said, you need a defensive team, and this is the way to go. Then we have Coulson with Inhumans, again, and Silver Surfer. Again, if you just have Shield Coulson, that's fine. And I also don't have Asgardians on here. If you if you do have Asgardians on here, that's fine as well. Please, like I said, don't stress this list. This is just kind of where you should be heading towards um, and leaving some characters behind. But uh, this Coulson defensive team, um, you know, you just kind of want to take up like a like a black order or something against it um it's really not too hard to counter but like i said i keep saying you need a defensive team uncanny uh x-men you can throw a storm in this team for psylocke or for wolverine you really just need uh colossus phoenix and cyclops though to do very very well um i use them on small punch-ups they're kind of on their way out the door but they're still so great uh symbiotes is great against asgardians and team that teams that have uh you know very very quick characters that can die so very low health characters um i've used symbiotes against a hydra team but uh, your symbiote team will probably be very well developed wave one on defense uh hulk with a, a health iso uh is very tough to get through especially with thor doing a lot of damage then brotherhood on offense uh, i like him against a shield colson team and honestly they can beat this uh, inhuman team if they're running nick fury Hella natural. I like this team against Wave One just because uh, when Greg goes down, uh, Wave One will lose t uh, turn meter. And then we have uh, Tech Nerva, or I just call it Tech because it feels wrong because Minerva is not on this team. But I use Ghost on this team again. If you want to swap uh, Ghost and Minerva, uh, that's fine as well. But I just would rather, you know, Ghost is such a great character. I'd rather have. With, with Tech Nerva, someone can come in with Power Armor, which is I don't even recommend bringing them up. Um, and blow over that team so i like ghosts a little bit better and then we have young avengers uh probably the a team out the door um i will say if you're watching this like a month later and uh let's say there's a defenders rework or something and defenders is a new hot defense definitely bump young avengers off and put put in a that uh put in that defenders team but yeah essentially this is where i value these these teams you may value teams higher or lower um but uh this is just where I kind of value them. All right, next up, we're going to go into events and stuff. Uh, we're going to be skipping a couple legendary events and a couple of the monthly events. For example, we're going to be skipping Payday because there's a ton of mercs that you can use, and mercs are actually very valid uh, to level up. Um, so we're going to start with Chaos Theory. You'll probably have Shuri and Killmonger developed anyways. So Black Panther, M'Baku, and Akoya, you, Akoya, you probably want to bring up to Gear 8. I had them at level 48, Gear 8, and I was able to get through it. My Black Panther was Gear 10, level 65. Um, but my Killmonger is about the same as that, and I had no trouble with that. Uh, Relic Hunt, um, hopefully you have your Electra built up. Uh, these other, the other hand characters are the best hand characters available right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's not much to say. Uh, if you're having trouble with it, you may have to put a little bit more gear into them or put a little bit of ISO in them. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the best way to go is just gear 9 them. Um, it's a waste, but you know, hands never got a rework, so they might eventually... We also have a future Skilletary event. Again, it's too hard to say what uh, what that will be, 
But uh, yeah, you definitely want to try and uh, get these characters up to gear 9, I think, for that. And if they get a good rework, they might be good on War Offense. Uh, we are skipping Payday, like I said, because there is that Merc event. And we're also s skipping Block Party because that is City Hero required, and there are a ton of City Heroes. Um, and there are a ton in this list that I definitely recommend that you bring up, especially, for example, this Hero 7-1 through 7-3. This team, will, should you should have no problem with Block Party with that team. All right, we are going in Legendary Event from uh, latest releases to uh, the beginning. Uh, so Jubilee requires Pimtech, gear 10, gear 9. Uh, they said they were going to make it a little bit harder. I really don't, I wouldn't worry about it too much, especially if, you're, if you have your Ghost very well developed, but uh, I would just say gear 10. Um, I kind of used Pimtech against like big punch downs and more offense. Um, so it is what it is. Then we have Ebony Maw, it requires Black Bolt and Foreign Humans. Foreign humans are currently farmable. That's Crystal, Miss Marvel, Quake, and Karnak. Uh, you will have, you will probably have Crystal developed, Black Bolt developed, developed, Miss Marvel developed. So gear eight for, for Quake and Karnak. Uh, the Black Bolt event requires as guardians. Um, if you gear nine them, you should be okay. You might be using, planning on using them for campaign events. You'll have them developed anyways. Uh, I don't remember it being super tough. Uh, Invisible Woman and, Shir and Shuri, I definitely recommend the uh, most recent uh, Sinister Six, the one that kind of matches this Doc Ock team. And then throw Vulture in there anyways because he is farmable through the arena store. Uh, I would say save your campaign refreshes and campaign node farming. Uh, drop Shocker and Green Goblin off and go this route and you and you can use this team to get Shuri as well. Shuri requires Spider-Verse, so if you wanted to go Spider-Man or Miles along with this team just to get Shuri unlocked a little bit quicker, that works as well. Phoenix requires Mystic Villains. You can use Doctor Doom if you want to wait that long, but uh, I definitely don't recommend that. Uh, Mystic Villain Controllers, excuse me. Uh, I actually used Hand Assassin instead of Hella. Hand Assassin is accessible before Hella, but uh, a lot of people don't want to farm that character because she is terrible. Nick Fury requires Cree Minions, Gear 8 for them. Star-Lord requires Ravagers or Guardians. Uh, I would definitely say Gear 8. And then Iron Man requires Shield. Um, I actually recommend that you go Cap. Hawkeye and Black Widow because they're on that Wave 1 team. Quake because you're going to use her to unlock Ebony Maw. And then I just say Nick Fury. You'll get Nick Fury uh, from just, uh, you know, going for Kree minions. Um, but again, I think, you know, legendaries that are kind of not worth it is Nick Fury and Iron Man. But uh, you should hopefully just unlock them just by playing the game. All right. And finally, we have our Blitz teams. Uh, I'm just going to go through my Blitz. What I recommend for basically Blitz teams, ignore these last two teams, by the way. Um, essentially, you know, if you're trying to get high scores in Blitz, you want to be using as many characters as possible because that's going to net you the most points. Es essentially, what I do for most of my Blitzes is, is I start with my... Uh, I, I order them in how I value these teams, so I think Black Order is still the best team in the game as a whole. Um, you know, it's not a hybrid team or anything, and you should be running non-hybrid teams as your Blitz teams just so you can get more points. Um, but what I recommend is, um, and I don't even do this, but uh, let's go all the way to my bottom team. You can see that they're kind of of trash um, but uh, this is my bottom team right here these are all level 48 characters gear whatever um, and basically you know you kind of want to develop these characters a little bit so they don't get pushed over right away ideally in an ideal world you want them to be level 60 so you can put all those t3s in them those purple pieces um, into their abilities but it's not needed um, you know, for example, this team wins just because Shatterstar and Longshot carry this team for me. Um, and you can start doing stuff like that. I'm going to slowly scroll, scroll up, but what I recommend for like a minimum, like you, you can see these characters are tier eight. Um, so I do level 48, uh, tier eight is my lowest, but, uh, an ideal world, I want level 60 tier nine, having those purple, uh, mats in there, but that is if you're trying to develop blitz teams and stuff you should be way through that list that is above all this stuff that i recommend um so yeah for example like i have a full pim tech team i have a full as guardian team i'm not running hybrids this is my zemo team so yeah there's it's just a ton of teams um as you go on and go on your blitz scores are going to get higher other people other people's blitz scores are going to get higher um, the thing that I want you guys to focus on is free-to-play people is that essentially I mean it took me three years to get to a point as a free-to-play person or a mostly free-to-play person I'm not free-to-play now but as a mostly free-to-play person it took me three years to get to a point where new characters were coming out and I was able to take them up to gear 12 level 75 level 80 and keep uh, and use them um, and as you can see that's kind of the case with my Axemen uh, other than Beast but uh, 
Um, yeah, I mean, essentially, it, it takes time and as free to play. If you just enjoy this game and have fun with it, uh, you will do well. Just log in every day and do what you can. But yeah, that does it for this list. Let me know if you think I'm wrong anywhere. Let me know if you think I missed something with, uh, you know, my recommendations. For example, we're skipping Heroes 7.4 through 7.9 because it's uh, global and then cosmic, or cosmic and then global, and I think there's a lot of characters that you can use. I think a lot of people just get stuck on Hero City because they don't want to develop defenders, but I think this is definitely the way to go. If you want to throw another character on this team that's kind of not on a war character, uh, not kind of not a war character, you could definitely go Punisher. Um, but I think with how accessible these characters are, it's probably your best bet of what is accessible before um, before Hero Seven. So I definitely recommend that. But again, let me know if you want me to include anything else on this in the future. I do these videos about every three months. Um, let me know if you, next time you would like me to fill in what I think this fourth one is. But again, like I re recommend, you probably just want to go Baron Zemo, Proxima, and Night Nurse for this. Um, and then for this, you want to go Jubilee, Invisible Woman, or Black Bolt. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know where you think I'm right. Let me know where you think I'm wrong. Let me know if you like this video. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. On this channel, I do guides, I do orb openings, and I do streams, and I do all sorts of Marvel Strike Force stuff. So make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.